hi what's up guys today I'm making a video to show you how to fix a corrupted SD card so this is a 256 gigs SD card which is corrupted and today I'm going to show you how to fix it it's uh, the same process for a, a, an SD card of 2 gigs 4 gigs 8 gigs 16 gigs or any any uh, size of SD card so you will need a, a reader an adapter here so you can plug the SD card to your computer running Windows so go ahead and plug it to your computer so now let's get started here I just connected the the corrupted SD card to the computer now go ahead and open Explorer file Explorer here you can see the the SD card that I just plugged to the computer and here you need to make sure about the size of the SD card the corrupted SD card you you, you want to fix here it's a 200 and uh, uh, around yes 250 gigs so now go ahead and open RAM. You can access RAM by right clicking on the uh, Windows icon here and select RAM. And here go ahead and clean everything and type CMD. Then go ahead and hit enter. The terminal is opened. Now in the terminal go ahead and enter the command disk part. Disk part and hit enter. Go ahead and click yes. Now uh this might not show up on your screen because it has to you have to give administration right for that so once you enter disk part go ahead and hit enter next go ahead and enter list disk l i s t space disk and hit enter now the this is the list of the of all the 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 hard drives i mean the the partitions in your uh, connected to the computer and here that's why i said you need to know about the size of the sd card you are trying to fix so here we know that it's uh, the 250 gigs which is disk 2. now we are going to go ahead and select disk 2. that's the disk we want to fix so we are going to type in select disk space 2 and uh, here notice that uh, oh wait this is a mistake yes you need to enter select disk 2 but um, in your case you might not select disk 2 according to the number of disk you have in the computer so here I have three and the third one is the SD card I want to uh, fix that's why I'm selecting this two. So make sure you select the right disk. It has to be the hard or uh, the what I say the the SD card you are trying to fix. And don't select your computer hard drive because you are going to clean everything. You can lose all your files, um, which is not what you are really expecting. So once you select this two, go ahead and hit enter and they say disk 2 is now selected disk so from here go ahead and clean and hit enter here disk part succeeded in cleaning with disk next go ahead and enter create partition primary 
so create partition primary and hit enter here disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition so next go ahead and enter active to make the selected uh, the the created partition active go ahead and enter active and hit the enter so this part make the current partition as active so next go ahead and uh, and type in select partition one select partition select partition one and hit enter and you see partition one is now the selected partition so go ahead and format and now you once you enter format go ahead and hit space uh, fs equals fat 32 for fs for file system and it has to be equal to fat 32 so go ahead and hit enter once you hit enter you will see uh, it says zero percent completed and from now you need to wait until the process is done and take 100 percent so uh, the disk would be cleaned i mean the sd card would be clean perfect and ready to be reused it would be like brand new uh, once the the process is done so you can use this process to fix like anything you can fix hard drives you can fix flash drives you can fix sd card i'm not sure about the internal memories of the phones but anyways okay from here you just need to wait uh from the process uh, to be completed from zero to 100 persons once the process is on 100 percent you can go ahead and enter exit in the terminal and hit enter or just close the terminal then you can see that your sd card is like brand new you can now use it to um to save files and whatever so that's it for this video if you found it useful make sure to drop a like and feel free to ask questions and don't forget to subscribe for more video thank you for watching and see you on next video.